Hi, everybody. Some of you may have watched my clip that I posted earlier today where I covered an article uh, written by a strong feminist who argued that we are in the throes of the end of heterosexuality. And she explained that heterosexuality is really something that is used to promulgate the patriarchy. The patriarchy subjugates women through heterosexuality. And accordingly, she argued, this is a Stanford person, she argued that women are now just walking away from heterosexuality, which got me to think that I'm a male feminist. I'm all about women's studies. And so I thought, wait a second. I mean, my marriage is rooted in complete patriarchy because it is a heterosexual union. Uh, because as some, as some of you know, I have already previously apologized for my transphobia in my marriage because when I was choosing a prospective mate, I succumbed to cis sexism, uh, which is a form of transphobia whereby you only uh, include as prospective mates women if you're heterosexual, which of course is patriarchal. You only include uh, prospective mates who have female genitalia, where, where in reality, if you weren't transphobic, which I'm not, uh, you would also consider women who have nine inch penises. So I've already apologized for that transphobia, the fact that my whole 20 year marriage is really a transphobic exercise that led to uh, us having kids through, you know, the promulgation of the patriarchy, also known as sex. Uh, but in any case, being the male feminist that I am, I decided that, as many of you know, there's really truly only one way to ever uh, repent for one's moral transgressions, one's ethical lapses, one's, big one's bigotry. And uh, again, many thanks to the fan who sent me the uh, accoutrement that is necessary. Self-flagellation has a long, long history in the annals of religious piety. You want to become more pure. You wish to repent for your sins, whether they be thoughts, sinful thoughts that you had, or sinful, uh, sinful acts that you've engaged in. Then you engage in self-flagellation. So being the, I reject the patriarchy. I am all about male feminism, or I'm a male feminist. Here it goes. It's go time. Heterosexuality is not innate. Heterosexuality is not natural. Heterosexuality is not biological based. Moving forward, I'm only attracted to Dave Rubin. Moving forward, I'm only attracted to Dave Rubin. So the issue now is, how do we redress the situation given that I am in a bigoted, patriarchal marriage known as heterosexual mating with a woman? So of course, there's only one way. Either she does the right thing and self-identifies as a male, in which case we are in a same-sex union, two men, or I self-identify as a woman and then we are in a same-sex union as two women. I'm going to be having a difficult conversation later with my wife, possibly husband, and I'll let you know what transpires. Pray for Dr. Sand. Cheers.